Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Nick Gray. If you're watching this video, you probably already know that Sony introduced the Xperia 1 Mark III and the new Xperia 5 Mark III with all the bells and whistles that we've typically come to expect from 2021 flagship devices. But with that comes a new camera system as well on the back of both of these phones. Now we still have not had a chance to get our hands on these devices since they're still not coming out for at least another month or so in Europe and the US. But Sony's been kind enough to share some of the image samples that they've taken with this device. But before we get into that and show you what the cameras can actually do, let's go over the specifications real quick. As with last year's models, these two phones have 12 megapixel sensors on the back for their 16 millimeter ultra wide camera, 24 millimeter main camera, and then the zoom camera as well, along with a time of flight sensor used on the Xperia 1 Mark III that's not present on the 5 Mark III. And then there's an 8 megapixel selfie camera up front. But as far as the main features for this device go, what you're really wanting to look at is the 20 frames per second burst mode on both of these phones from all three camera sensors, which is something that no other smartphone on the market can match on top of the fact that it calculates focus at 60 times per second. And then there's Sony's eye autofocus tracking system that keeps track of your subject as they're moving around, which as we saw works really good on last year's device. But this year they've also introduced real time object tracking, just in case your subject turns around and they're not able to see the face or the eye of the subject anymore, it will then track their body as well. But the main highlight here is definitely gonna be the zoom camera, which goes from 70 millimeters all the way up to 105 millimeters with a single periscope camera system. Now we've seen periscope camera systems on other devices in the past, but this one is truly unique since the optics on the inside of that camera module actually move between the two different focal lengths, making this a true zoom camera where all others are typically just a fixed focus telephoto camera. Now, as I mentioned before, we still haven't had the opportunity to go hands-on with both of these smartphones and capture photos for ourselves, but we have compiled all of the sample images that Sony has shared from the Xperia 1 Mark III and the Xperia 5 Mark III to give you an idea of what we can expect from these two smartphones. Let's take a look.
And that's gonna do it for the first look at the cameras on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark III and the Xperia 5 Mark III. Let me know what you think of the results in the comments, but we will be having a full camera test and camera comparisons once we get our hands on these devices later this summer. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.